How's it going everyone and welcome back to LT3D. With the release of Bamboo Lab's new colourful product being only a week away, both excitement and speculation are growing. Since my last video, Bamboo Lab has thrown a couple of curveballs to my speculation with the leaks or teasers of active motor noise cancelling and rethought flow dynamics calibration. However, I think this is just to mislead us. And I also think that Bamboo Lab is releasing not one, but multiple products on September 20th. Let's talk about it. Now, everything so far has been speculation and nothing has been confirmed, but I'm gonna double down on my speculations from the previous video. And if I'm wrong, then the next video after this is gonna be pretty interesting. <laughs> anyway, back to the point of this video. I think I might have figured out exactly what this multicolor product will be. As I just mentioned, my last video was all about what ifs, potentials, and maybes, but while I was scrolling on Twitter today, I came across this retweeted post from a company called Coprint 3D Printing Technologies. I don't know much about the company, however, from a brief look on their website, it seems that they produce multicolor solutions for 3D printers. Now, if you take a close look at the image, you'll see that there seems to be a device mounted on top of a Creality Ender 3 S1. And if you look even closer, you might notice that this looks very similar to the teaser image we received from Bamboo Lab. Now, unfortunately, I can't go into much detail on this product as it also hasn't been released yet, but I'll link it down in the description below so you can uh, check it out for yourself and sign up for notifications for it if you're interested. From the looks of it though, it's safe to say that we can expect something similar from Bamboo Lab on September 20th. Now the colors in these guide tubes don't seem to be cyan, magenta, yellow, and white. So if the product Bamboo Lab is releasing is similar, then we probably won't be getting real-time color mixing. But we will be getting a multicolor solution for other printers. Which in my opinion is a pretty big deal and a big win for 3D printing. In other Bamboo Lab news, aka non-multicolor related news, there have been leaks of a new printer called the A1. Now, there's not a lot of information about the printer so far, but a lot of 3D printer enthusiasts seem to think that it might be a low-cost bed slinger to appeal to another market, which I think is definitely a possibility and it might have something to do with the active motor noise cancelling and rethought flow dynamic... La -la 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 -la. Which I think is definitely a possibility and might have something to do with the active motor noise cancelling and rethought flow dynamics calibration teasers that we've seen from Bamboo Lab in the past week. I'll link below a video by Nathan Builds Robots for more information as he goes into quite a bit of detail on what this printer could be. So definitely make sure you check that out. That's all I've got for this update video, guys. But as I mentioned in the other video, if I come across anything before the release date, then I'll upload another video. So definitely subscribe and turn on those notifications. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and leave a comment down below on whether you think I'm right or not or what you think it could be. And uh, as always, happy printing.